Our cover story tonight is about a doctor in Wuhan. You've probably not heard of her because her story has been hidden by the mighty dragon. Hidden until it got out. We are talking about Dr. Ai Fen. She's the director of the emergency department at the Wuhan Central Hospital. She's also the reason why the world found out about China's cover-up. She was perhaps the first doctor to order tests on the early coronavirus patients. And now she has gone missing. The latest reports claim that her whereabouts are unknown now. Why is this doctor so important? Why must her story be told? Because Dr. Ai Fen has ruffled the feathers of the Communist Party of China. Not only did she find the virus, she even spoke about it in China. Last month, she gave an interview to a Chinese magazine. The government did not like it. The interview created fresh trouble for Beijing. It also became proof of China's cover-up because Dr. Ai Fen had revealed it all. She told the world how China knew about the coronavirus way back in December and how China did nothing to stop it. Dr. Ai Fen said all of this in her interview. She said that she was not the whistleblower. She was the one who gave the whistle. Tonight on Gravitas, we have for you the Ai Fen revelations. We've been investigating her claims. We've also reported on some of her assessments in the past. And now we have accessed a copy of Dr. Ai Fen's interview. This was removed from the internet by the Chinese censors. The interview is the smoking gun, the proof of China's cover-up. This is what it says. Dr. Ai Fen was in her hospital when the patients walked in. It was a disease that no other doctor had seen before. The patients were showing flu-like symptoms, but usual treatment methods were not working on them. So Dr. Ai Fen, she was treating some of the patients herself, and she decided to carry out some tests. The result, she said, was shocking. The report called it a SARS coronavirus. Now, the interview says that Dr. Ai Fen read the report several times to confirm it. Her conclusion did not change. She said that she broke out in a cold sweat. She knew an unprecedented challenge was staring at her. Dr. Ai Fen circled the diagnosis. She took a photograph of the report and she shared it with a friend. Soon, the report was circulated across Wuhan's medical circles. Other doctors began talking about this new virus, this mysterious disease. One of them was Dr. Li Wenliang, the man on your screen. He, too, received this report. And he's now known as the first whistleblower. Dr. Ai Fen gave him the whistle, as she puts it. He shared her report further. Soon it emerged on the radar of the Chinese censors. They found out what was being circulated. And this is where the cover-up begins. Dr. Li was pulled up by Chinese officials for sharing the report. He was accused of spreading rumors. And then the Chinese police tracked down Dr. Ai Fen as the source. They told her to stay quiet. First, she received a warning. Her hospital told her to not spread this information. Two days later, she was called before her hospital's disciplinary inspection committee. She was accused of spreading rumors. She was reprimanded. Disciplinary action for raising concerns. Dr. Ai Fen tried to warn her seniors. She tried to raise an alarm about the Wuhan virus, but her voice was muzzled. The interview says that she knew about human-to-human -human transmission, but no one listened to her. Instead of acting on her report, the Wuhan Central Hospital joined the government's cover-up. The staff was forbidden from passing messages or images about this virus. A few months later, Dr. Ifen got a chance to speak again. Her interview was published in a Chinese magazine called People. And this time, she did not hold anything back. She told everything that she knew, and now nobody knows where she is. Gone missing for reporting on the Wuhan virus.